Hey, good morning guys. Um, it's officially my day off today uh, and I thought I would take you along on a small hike. As you can see, it's not the best weather today. It's a bit cloudy, but I'm still excited. My plan is to hike to the local mountain that we have here. Nothing fancy, not like a snow-tipped mountain or anything, nothing too high up, uh, but I only been there once on a hike and now my plan is to go a new route that way and then take a more familiar route back. Um, I, the plan is that it should be roughly two hours each way so hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the video material that I get on the way there. Now first uh, I just want to stop by the store and get some snacks for my picnic lunch and then we'll be on our way so catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so now I've gone to the store. I have my snacks in my backpack and I'm ready to go. I need to head off that way. It's a completely new route to me, as I said, so I have no idea what's coming. Hopefully I'll find my way and hopefully that's the right path, <laughs> first of all. I'll try to capture all of the interesting sights that I find along the way. Hopefully there'll be some. Um, unfortunately, because the weather is a bit cloudy today, I don't think we'll get any lovely mountain views, but oh well, we'll have to live with that. We can still have these lovely views of the fields and all the flowers blooming in spring, so it'll be a fun day. Um, the reason I decided to hike today was because I have a day off. TT and I um, work in different cities in Switzerland, and that's uh, the reason why we have a couple varying holidays. Um, so today, for example, is a holiday in Zurich, but not here in Sug, where we live and where Titi works. Oh my God, I'm getting out of breath. I'm walking uphill. Doesn't look like anything, but man, I'm dying. Okay, anyway, so that's why I'm hiking by myself today. I was originally supposed to be in Finland on this longer weekend for myself. Obviously that didn't happen, um, which is a shame, but let's go. I mentioned to you guys before about the cows. The cows are now back in the fields. You can hear their bells. And I absolutely love the cows. Sometimes they get a little bit too friendly. I was just trying to record a video the other day for my nephew about the cows. And one got a little bit too close for comfort, but that's fine. They are super cute and I love their little bells. So, talking and walking uphill is not working so well, so I'll catch up with you again once I find some steadier ground. Right behind me you can see some very typical Swiss houses. I think they're so cute. Um, I've been staying in a couple of them, a couple occasions when I've been hiking, and we've spent the night in one of those. So. They're absolutely lovely. They're, they have wooden creaky floors, um, but super comfy and have that wonderful Swiss vibe inside the houses. And they usually have um, like the best, most unhealthiest foods available <laughs> that they do in the kitchen. They have schnitzel, they have fondue, raclette, all of the typical um, Swiss foods. So. I, I don't know, I love it. I, that's one of the things I think I'll miss one day when we're no longer here. And a lot of the hiking paths actually go through farmhouses, so people here are very friendly and, and they are open to hikers, so I never feel too awkward. In the beginning, I was always a little bit nervous. You know, look, I'm walking through someone's property. Did I lose my way? But then a lot of the times, on the houses, they actually have the hiking path sign, the little yellow diamond. Uh, that's his wonder rig. I'll show it to you if I find one. But um, so it's definitely a sign that hikers are are welcome. Uh, and now I'm just in the middle of just like fields and fields, which is really lovely. And again, I have some cows and cowbells. Uh, clinging in the distance, so that's nice. Yes, this is where I'm going today, Zugerberg. So that's where we live, Edlipach, so I could get home 
if I followed that road back there. Um, but today, like I said, Zuckerberg, um, it's freely translated. It really means uh, the mountain of Zug. For me, it's not so much a mountain. It's more um, a hill because it's not so um, big as the other mountains in Switzerland. So let's go. Let's find Zugerberg. There's these yellow diamonds scattered across when you're on a hiking trail so you know that you're on the right path. They're super easy to find usually. A few times I've been a bit confused because I haven't seen one for a while and then I've been a bit nervous whether I took the right path and, and sometimes I haven't but usually the roads and the hiking trails are quite well marked. Okay so as you just saw a car passed me so not my favorite hiking trail yet at this point um, because we are on paved road. Um, I think the best hiking trails are the ones where you're really on unpaved roads. But Switzerland is a really funny place because in Finland a road like this would never be paved. In the US, 50-50, yeah, but I would say country roads and like farm roads in the US are also largely not paved. You usually have gravel or something. Um, but here, even like the smallest roads are paved and, and I don't know, I mean I guess that makes it easier for upkeep and there's not, Switzerland doesn't get super cold so you won't get like the permafrost like in Finland that really messes up the paved roads in the winter time so it's for farmers in Finland it would be a hassle to have to like repave after every winter. Um, and in the US I know in the south you deal with mudslides and things like this that could be hard for the roads and then up north you would also then have the same thing as in, in like in Finland where you would have the permafrost messing it up so I don't know maybe Switzerland is a great place for roads that are durable then they don't have a lot of upkeep and that's why it makes sense to to pave the roads um, I'm sure it's a lot nicer for the farm machines and all of the tractors going back and forth um, with paved roads, but it's just funny. I, I've never seen it anywhere else. Zuckerberg is two hours, so here we go. I think it points this way. Uh -huh. Let's go see how lost I get. This, this cow is like staring me down. He doesn't like me. He's like, oh, what are you doing? Those are my friends over there. Uh, I'm a little afraid that he's gonna like run over here, but luckily he has a fence, a little electric fence there. So hopefully he won't <laughs> charge at me. Oh my God, he just keeps on staring. So funny. Um, the road I'm on currently is just taking me through a lot of the farms and let's see. Hopefully at some point I will be back there. You can see the, the mountains there. That's where I'm heading. Um, I think I need to go across uh, quite a shallow valley. Probably the one where I was hiking along the river. Oh god, a car is coming again. They watch out. Um, so yeah, I will most likely have to go hike through the valley. So I will again be super out of breath but I'm looking forward to it because then hopefully there will be a little bit more nature. Um, I, I like these um, sceneries as well, nothing to complain about there, but I think I'm ready for some other views by now. I think it's been maybe 30 minutes that I've been hiking across the fields now so hopefully some change of scenery coming soon. And yes, I've now found myself in the middle of a Christmas tree farm. How cute. <laughs> We've only uh, had a Christmas tree in our apartment one year. It was the year that my parents came to visit me here in Switzerland for Christmas. All the other times we've been traveling, we've either been in Finland or, or in Mexico or on a cruise somewhere. So not a lot of Christmases spent here in Switzerland but Christmas time here is so special. You have the Christmas markets, which I'll show you once that time comes, but let's enjoy the summer first. I see the sign and it says Zuckerberg is this way. So here we go, continuing. Now it looks like we're heading downhill, which you can hear from my voice. I'm not like 
about to die any second. Um, another cute little farmhouse coming up and then I think we will head out into those trees that you see in the background. Check this out guys, what a beautiful location to have a church. Wait, I'm gonna try to zoom, hopefully we don't lose video quality too badly. Absolutely beautiful on top of that hill. On we go. I again see some cows coming up our way, so let's see. They're, they look like strange little like half. Are those cows? I don't know, let's go find out. Okay, so they were goats. <laughs> Whatever I saw and thought were cows, they are goats. Um, the hiking path didn't go down that way. I needed to continue straight, so I couldn't get a close-up shot for you guys, but they were the funny little goats they had, like they were half white and half black. Uh, so I thought they were cows, but nope, much smaller animal. <laughs> um, I'm now heading over, it looks like to someone's yard. <laughs> Let's see, look, and not that way. But I do see the sign for the hiking trail, so we're on the right path. If I hadn't just walked past a sign that said that this was a hiking trail, I would really be questioning whether I lost my way. It's really strange feeling like you're walking into someone's front yard. But here we are, it's just going through their yard. They have a beautiful cherry tree all in bloom. And now I'm officially lost, I think. We just continue this way because I really don't see any other option. Oh gosh. I might be lost. There's another cow. Not a goat, but a cow. And now I got my wish of non-paved road, so looking good, guys. Okay, so now I'm really questioning. That's where I came from, across the yard there, and now the path has all but stopped. Now there is a path going there, which that's, I think, that's where I need to go. Down this path here, down this way, and hopefully, sometime soon, I will see another sign to tell me whether I'm on the right path or not. I would hate to walk like hundreds and hard and hundreds of feet and yards and feet and meters and whatever and then have to come back down this way but i really there there was just the yard there was nowhere else to go except like walk into their house which i'm sure it doesn't go that way so i think i mean this looks like a trail but there was really no sign and that's what i mentioned that most of the time the signage is really good but they're really you just I guess they trust in people's common sense which I don't always have so much of but I mean for all intents and purposes that looks like a trail right yes it's clearly someone has walked here someone has biked here so I can't be that far off Ooh, and I do see a sign take a look guys we are on the right path because on this tree we see the hiking trail sign. That is always good news. So I'm gonna continue back this way on that trail. It's always fun when you're going downhill and you're like, score! It's so nice to go downhill. I've now come like, I don't know, a million stairs down. I still have a few more to go down. But you know what? You know that now that you're enjoying going downhill, it'll be uphill very quickly. <laughs> so now I'm gonna continue going down these stairs carefully um, and then let's see how far down we go before we go back up. I can hear a stream down there so hopefully this trail will take us there. Oh no actually let's see I'm gonna keep you guys with me here for a second. Let me just get these last stairs and now I'm confused again. Okay, let's see. So this tells me that I should go that way through this little swirly gate here and that way. But there's also a trail that way, but there's no sign that way. 
So, I think what I'll do is I'll go through the swirly gate because that tells me that that's definitely a hiking trail. Really weird. I would have almost, like, my, my gut tells me to go, go that way, but I will follow the signs because here, now we have another sign, so I think we are on the right path. And let me just flip the camera for you guys and show you. There's some sheep right up there. So definitely lots of animals today to enjoy. <laughs> you guys won't hear it because it's too, too quiet, but somewhere from in the woods, either someone is listening to like help uh, horns on the radio or someone is actually playing one. I truly feel like I'm in Switzerland now. I mean, I'm here hiking next to the fields and, and next to the forest and I can hear an alphorn going, so oh, it's really nice. I, I wish you could hear it, but it's, it's too quiet. I can barely hear it myself, but it's um, so fun. Such a nice little perk on my hike, so I will shut you guys off and enjoy it for the little while that I can still hear it. All right, so a lot of the farmhouses here um, usually sell some of their products as well. And here, let me show you this sign. This one is now closed because of the current situation in the world, but there they would put, you know, they would list the items that they currently have for sale, whether it's eggs, milk, um, they'll have cherries and apples. If they farm those, I can see lots of cherry and apple trees around me, so they will definitely have those for sale at some point. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been to enough of these places. I've only been once just to have a peek and see what it looks like. When I went they had like potatoes and apples and things like that and I think us being so close to these places um, it's a shame that we haven't been to buy more things directly from the farms. I mean it's a really unique opportunity to do so. You would definitely get organic stuff if, if you're into that or if that's important to you. Um, so maybe later on in the summer when things open back up again, I can take you along if I go um, to explore one of those farm shops. Hopefully that will be sooner rather than later. So here you can see a little bit where I came from. Back there you'll see that church that I mentioned and then that road that I I walked so I've come a good way uh, let's see how much further it is until where where we need to go I'm seeing some clouds breaking up so maybe if we're lucky we'll get some Sun as well a deer just took off he was standing right there my mom and I were just discussing this weekend that neither of us ever see any wildlife when we go out. And I just saw a deer. Oh dear, so funny. Um, yeah, he t definitely took off right when I, I came to near, so I can't show him to you guys. I don't think he likes the sight of my voice anyway, but that would have scared him off. But, so exciting. I can now say that I've seen a, a wild deer here in Switzerland. I've seen them from the car every now and then. But now I've seen one hiking and yeah, let's continue. We are in this nice shaded forest area again on a paved road, but I don't care. Um, it's really nice. Hopefully you can hear all of the birds all around me. It's so nice. All right, so I just had to stop and take off my jacket because it was getting way too hot. Um, it's a really warm day even though it's a bit cloudy. Um, I still have a little ways to go. I see the road keeps on winding up and up and up this mountain. The good news is that I can see, start to see the top of the hill in between those trees back there. Right there. So I shouldn't have too much farther to go which is good because I'm getting hungry. I'm already dreaming about all of my little snacks that I have with me. <laughs> the food part is always one of the most um, fun things for me when I'm hiking or, or um, traveling. I don't know, my sister said it well yesterday. She was like, food just tastes better 
when it's um, eaten as a picnic or, or as a snack when you're outdoors. So I don't know, the outdoors just makes food taste that much better. I see sun. I think I've made it up successfully because it says that Sugerberg is just 10 minutes away and I seem to be at the top of some hill so I think the most of my trek is complete so now it looks like we're heading back downhill which means that now I will start looking for a nice picnic spot so I just shut off my camera and looked over and there is a picnic spot right there um, it looks absolutely beautiful here, but I think, hopefully this won't be a mistake, but I think I will still look for another spot. Um, I might regret that because that is an absolutely beautiful spot with amazing views. But I see that the sun is shining there ahead of me. And I know that there are plenty of picnic spots here all around. So I will continue a little further along and hopefully I'll find a nice spot to call my own. Okay guys, I think I found my picnic spot. I will have some amazing views for lunch. Okay, so here you see my wonderful little lunch all spread out. For my main course, I have cheese. Um, I have some both are chili cheeses, so I've never tried this one before. It sounds really interesting. Um, so let's see how that is. It should be uh, like a Swiss style cheese. And then I have this um, chili. It's kind of like a, like a brie, brie cheese. So like um, it has the white um, crust and then it's almost like a soft cheese in the, in the middle so I, I really like this one I've had it before so I know what to expect it's absolutely wonderful I got the crackers to go along with my cheese and then um, for desserts I got some very beautiful looking raspberries they're huge and then I got some um, salted caramel dark chocolate I'm obsessed with salted caramel things at the moment um, and I think the dark chocolate should be nice it's not too too sweet um, so it should be nice to go with my my raspberries here and then of course I got some apple cider for myself to go into my little Finnish mug it's this is called uh, kuksa um, it's a very traditional Finnish um, cup it's it's made out of wood this was actually made by my mother's cousin and I'm excited to, to use that as well. It's perfect for hiking because it doesn't weigh much. Um, and I, like, I just like the look of it. It reminds me of Finland. And just give you one final view. I'm getting a little bit of sun, which is perfect. It's a bit windy, so I had to put my jacket back on. Um, but it's a, it's a nice spot for my, my picnic. I tried the devil's cheese or, or whatever the um, loose translation of that would be. It's basically, it has some chili inside of the cheese and it is wonderful um, I have to bring some of this to my parents I think my mom and stepdad would really appreciate it um, my stepdad likes spicy stuff and, as, and so does my mom and my mom just like me was a cheeseaholic so this one's a winner it's not too strong for like a Swiss cheese it has a little bit of that Swiss style but it's absolutely amazing cheese the other one um, like I said, it's a soft cheese and, and there's like a layer of, of chili stuff in the middle. So this will go amazingly with the cracker. Sorry guys, the camera is not wanting to focus on the cheese. Um, so yeah, this will be great. So I think I picked two winners. I know my lunch is quite cheese heavy, um, but luckily I have then the berries to, to balance some of that heaviness out. And of course some chocolate. So a very um, Swiss picnic I'd say some cheese and chocolate <laughs> some berries mixed in <laughs> I think you just realized I have some food hmm did you did you yeah oh I know but I don't think you want anything that I have guys I'm just finishing my lunch I'm having some of my chocolate and look at these raspberries they're huge 
Um, they're not as sweet as I would like, but yeah, that's what you get when you buy big ones. They're not usually as sweet as the, the smaller ones. I just packed up my lunch a little bit quicker than I was planning to because I am absolutely freezing. There's a wind that keeps on coming across here and it's super cold. I still have some of my, uh, some of my cider left, which I will enjoy as I'm walking along, but I just can't sit there anymore. The <laughs> beautiful views are known. It's just too dang cold. So I'm going to start making my way back. Hopefully it's another two hour hike or so back home. Um, and I'm hoping that when I keep moving, uh, I'll warm up a little bit. I like that the sun is out. Um, that'll warm me up a little bit as well. So much for being so hot that I could be walking around without my jacket. Maybe that'll be the case again, certainly if I, if I find some more uphill uh, spots. Let's go find our way back. Behind me, that is where I came down from. And now my plan is to head off in that direction um, to find a different way back home. Okay guys, looks like we have some good news. I think I get to go off-road because I am not headed all the way to Bar, but um, where I'm headed is on route to that. So we are heading through this little cow gate and off that way. That'll be exciting. Um, it's always fun to not always have to walk on those paved roads and to really enjoy hiking in the in the wilderness I guess I would say um, looks like I'll be still walking along a dirt road but at least it's a little bit better than just a paved road through pastures where there can be cows when you have to actually go through gates like this. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see my camera at the moment at all. But when you come through gates like this, you know that you're walking in territory where you might um, run into a cow because that's the reason those are there, that people can go through but cows can't. So let's see. I haven't seen cows on the other side and I I think that's where they would have been if there were any cows, but this where I'm walking now is definitely also cow pasture, so let's see. Maybe we run into some friendly little cows. Just take a look at what's ahead of me. Not a bad sight at all. Okay, so one thing to watch for when you're walking around in these pastures is the cow piles. Don't want to find yourself stepping into one of those. Let's see, I think... Oh, I don't know. I don't see the ones I need to see. I think I need to head still this direction to where it says Bar. I would have thought I would have to head out this way. Um, but with the sign saying that Bar is off that way, that is where I go and it doesn't look very bad at all. Let's head through this gate together. Just need to get this out and then we close it back off to make sure that we don't let out any cows in case they come back here. Alright, so we continue on our way. I wish the way up would have been a little bit more like this. Okay, for the beginning part we were walking through farmhouses and such, but like I said, and showed you it was mainly on paved roads. Now we're fully just walking in the fields. And I see a tractor guy looking at me like, what are you? Oh, another cow gate. Let's get through this. Without shocking myself, I'm always super nervous that I'll end up touching the electric fence when I touch those gates. Okay, I have no idea where to go. But, considering that that looks like it goes to the 
house there and that looks like it would go back in the wrong direction. I'm gonna head out and go in front of me. I'm trying to take a look if I can see our house or our apartment where I need to be heading, but I'm not sure. I think you can see it. I think it's down there. Like, yes, that's our house back there. Um, let me see if I can switch you over to the other camera. And there we are. Back there you can see the rows of, rows of houses. I don't know how well you can see it with the camera at the moment. But that's where I'm heading. Let's continue on. I definitely see some directions up ahead of me again so I can just check that I'm on the right path and continue going home. This is what I was talking about guys, that the cows are very curious. I don't want to go too much closer because I don't think that bull is very happy to see me. But there he is, staring me down. And I will continue my way down this road. Check it out. A nice little fork in the road. No directions on where to go. Um, there's no clear indication on where they lead. I have no idea which way I'm supposed to go. I'm trying to look down each road if I see some yellow markers or something. But I mean, there's absolutely nothing no idea. I mean, take a look. That one, it's heading past that barn there, but it looks like a perfectly good hiking trail. I, I would I would imagine that it could go down that way. And then we have this one here, which is, oh, sorry, which is also a perfectly good road. I have no idea where it goes because it, it turned. Um, so I don't know. I guess I think I have to like flip a coin and, and figure out which way to go. Now, if I say on impulse, I don't know. I have no impulses. No. I would want to go this way. It looks prettier. I don't know. It looks more interesting. But I think it's like a side road. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect fork in the road. But it, this one continues, continues to be paved. And the one that I would want to go on is, is not paved. So that will be my criteria. I will continue going what seems to be straight on the paved road. And let's see what happens if I don't see more hiking signs soon then I think I need to turn around and take that other one but this is so frustrating guys I just uh, I, I wish when there was a fork in the road or when there's a, 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 a cross in the road I mean you just you just give give a sign plop up pop a sign and say go this way if you can go either way then tell me where they go I mean it's just oh it's not that hard and I guess I should have some sense of where I'm going or sense of direction, but I don't. And this is so frustrating. I still don't see anything. I do see some signs up front, yay, ahead of me. Um, so let's check those out. Where in the world do I go next? Let's see. Bar and Hölklöten is to the left. So. That is where we will go. We need to go across this road here. 
looks like we're on the right path. That was just a bit frustrating. I hate walking down a road not knowing if I'm going the right way. I mean, in Switzerland, you're never going to get lost, lost. You're always going to find your way. But yeah, just a pet peeve, nothing more. Let's continue. I see like a little side path. So I think that's where I'm going to head. Again, no sign for that, but because I have the smarts, so <laughs> and common sense, my common sense is telling me that this is the right way to go, hopefully. But that will steer me in the right direction. All right, still haven't seen a sign, but I do feel very confident that I'm on the right path. I mean, there's a clear trail here. Um, I do remember hiking this part because look at these hills, you guys. These are like perfect Switzerland sound of music. Heidi twirling with her skirt in the hills. I mean, every time I see those kind of hills, I just want to go and like roll around. Allergies be damned. I don't care if my eyes swell shut. I just want to like go in and run across those fields. I, I, I love them. It's just something about them that I just, I just love. And I am super happy that the sun is uh, playing nice because the forecast really showed um, a fully cloudy day today. I wasn't expecting any sun. So oh, this is just wonderful. I love my day off so far. Can't beat this. Check it out. We are now going into the woods and this kind of an entrance into the woods, I mean, I just feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Look at this. I mean, you're walking in, you're completely surrounded by trees and flowers and leaves, and I can hear a river down there. I don't know if we can see it. Probably not. But I mean, it's just, somehow it feels enchanted. I don't know why I feel like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I love the forest. And at this time of year too, I was talking to you before about how I love spring, even though summer is definitely my favorite season, but look, in springtime you have these leaves that are just like a lime green. They're fresh, they've just opened up and you're surrounded by nature. And actually this time of year is nice also because you don't have all of the bugs and the mosquitoes yet. They're definitely on the way because we've been getting lots of bugs and flies and bees into our house but it's not as bad the mosquitoes at least are not in full force yet look at this i mean i'm just walking under a canopy of leaves this is amazing guys this is why i love the woods just amazing but enchanted forest or not still have no idea if I'm on the right path. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this looks familiar enough that I'm not too worried. Um, otherwise, I would be a bit freaking out on whether I'm on the right path. But it's clearly a path. I do remember a path a lot like this the last time we hiked through here. So I'm pretty sure that I'm on the right path. Just have to duck under some branches. So hopefully soon I will get the confirmation that I know is coming um, that we are heading in the right direction. There's a lot of tree roots keeping me um, busy. So I will put you guys away because I don't want to tumble down there. That's a steep way to roll. So we're not going that direction. I'm going to um, pay attention to where I'm walking and catch up with you guys when I find that sign of where to go. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Even before I found the sign right behind me that shows me that I'm back on the, or I've always been on the hiking trail, um, I actually ran into some really familiar scenery. You can see Tsug right here in the background. Um, and this trail that goes right here next to me, um, I came from back there but this one that runs right here I mean I've walked a million times it takes us to the waterfall that's really near us um, we've actually taken a lot of if not all of our guests who've been here to that waterfall it's really nice it was a wonderful surprise when I found it back 
I think it was like the first or second year that we were living here. And now I will start heading back down that way or back down that way. Hmm. It's really interesting because I almost want to show you guys the waterfall. It'll take me a longer time to get home though. Waterfall? Yes, let's do the waterfall. All right, so I checked the time. Um, it's almost two, which should give me plenty of time for a little detour. So I am taking you guys past that waterfall um, and I should find a trail back then to that river that I showed you in the very first video. It should add some time to my hike, but I don't mind. Um, it's really the views that I'm after today. I want to see that waterfall for some refreshing views. Um, and I think it'll be fun for you guys to see it. Those of you who haven't been with us and seen it in person. So yeah, why not? We're hiking today, so why not hike all the way? And it's just beautiful. The sun is really out now. I don't know how long it'll join us because there's definitely still some cloud coverage around, but I will enjoy it for as long as it lasts. And let's see, I need to let you guys go for a little bit because as you can see, there's danger of falling over. There's some steep hills um, and paths that I'm going on now. So talk to you guys once I reach that waterfall. Take a look guys, love it. There's not a lot of water coming down the waterfall at the moment. We had a really dry winter, so there hasn't been a lot of snow. Um, the last time that I saw it, or the last years that I've seen it, it was a lot more water coming down. Now it's just kind of a trickle. But I have quite the hike ahead of me. I need to get up these stairs and up, 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 all the way up on top of there. So let's go. Once again, uphill. My feet will thank me for this later. So that was the waterfall. I've now hiked all the way up to where I will slowly start coming down back to the valley and then I will need to do my final ascent back up to where we live. So thanks for joining me on the hike today. I won't um, bore you with the whole way back because it's a route that you've seen in my first video already. Um, I hope to see you again on my channel. I have a new series coming up, which I will start shortly. So stay tuned for that. And like always, um, subscribe so that you don't, you don't miss any of my content if you want to follow me and um, thanks for joining see you later bye